King Bruce and the Spider short story. This is King Bruce and the Spider short story. Once upon a time, when Scotland was not a part of England, it was ruled by King Robert Bruce. The Scottish king was brave as well as wise. The King of England led his great army into Scotland in order to drive King Bruce out of Scotland. King Bruce refused to give up his country and gathered an army and decided to fight for his country. His army was very small compared to the English army. Even so, King Bruce led his army into battle fearlessly. Battle after battle was fought. Six times, King Bruce led his small army of brave men, and six times they were defeated. After fighting every battle the Scottish army was left to run for their lives. The army was broken and lost all their hopes. King Bruce and the Spider Short Story Image Source at ImageWeb CDN Magnolia Soft Net in the end, the Scottish army scattered and King Bruce was forced into hiding to save his life. He had to run away. He hid in the woods and among the lonely mountains. King Bruce, too, was disheartened. He had lost his army. The courage in his heart was fading every day bit by bit. With no army, the king did not know what to do next. He wandered alone in the woods by himself, every day growing weaker and losing hope. One day, it suddenly started raining heavily. Seeking shelter, King Bruce found an empty cave. The king was very tired and sick at heart. He was ready to lose all hope. As he lay on the cold ground thinking about giving up, he saw a little spider. The spider was trying to finish weaving its web on the cave's roof, but somehow it kept slipping down. The king was greatly fascinated by the spider. He watched it. The spider climbed up and somehow lost its balance and slid down. Poor thing, said Bruce, with great sadness, you too know what it is to fail. But to the king's surprise, the spider did not give up. The king noticed, every time the spider slipped, it climbed back more carefully than before. Six times the spider slipped and was trying for the seventh time. As the king sat there, watching the spider he almost forgot about his worries and his failure. Finally, the spider reached the web and completed the web on the seventh try. King Bruce was moved by the tiny creature. Watching the tiny creature try again and again filled the king with new hope and new strength. The king decided he would raise his army once more. When the rain stopped that day, King Bruce came out of the cave and said, I too shall try the seventh time the king called upon his brave and faithful men. He told them about his plans and sent them back to his country to bring more men for his army. The faithful followers did as they were told and brought back more men. King Bruce formed a stronger army than before and led his army into battle again and this time, the Scottish army weren't defeated. The king won his kingdom back. Years later, when King Bruce's hair was growing gray, he still remembered the rainy day in the cave. The spider had taught him to try and try, try until he reached success. That lesson was never forgotten. Moral, try and try again until you succeed. Here is a visual depiction of a story for kids with moral. King Bruce and the Spider Short Story King Bruce and the Spider Short Story Video